Hollywire, what is going on? This is Fake or Fact. I'm Tony Morris. I'm Morgan Riddle. And we are gonna give you headlines where you have to determine if they're fake or if they're facts. What's the first headline? Did Bryce Hall go broke? Bryce Hall, who has over 6.4 million followers on Instagram and 13.9 million followers on TikTok, is a member of one of the biggest content houses in Los Angeles. Sway House, obviously, the co-founder of an energy drink and has his own merch line, somehow went broke. I love how you're just reading off the stats. Like, how could this guy go broke, right? I, I mean, he's he's at the top of the pyramid in the influencer celebrity digital world culture. I, I follow this guy on Instagram and he is just selling, like he is selling his, his energy drinks, He's selling all of his uh, his merchandise. I, I haven't bought anything yet, but I wanna buy something. You know, I mean, is it possible? Guys, is, is this fake or is this fact? Like, is it possible? Don't, don't let him know yet, Morgan, though. Okay. Bryce has been around since buying. Like, he, he's known the influencer role. He's known the influencer culture. He didn't really have his uptick in fame until I think December, maybe a little bit earlier, November, um, when Sway House really became popular. Now we're getting this tea from his new podcast that he just launched, and it is about uh, it, it, it's about wealth, it's about it's about what to do with your finances. But it's already number one on business podcasts with one episode, which is like crazy impressive, actually. So this is a good place for him to tell us, tell the world, yep. if he went broke. So is this is this a headline? Is it fake, or is, it, is did he really go broke? Apparently, this is a fact. He actually stated that the reason for starting this podcast is that he got slammed with taxes. He was treating money like an object, spending it before he had it. So he wanted to make a positive spin of this by release, releasing this finance podcast. The first episode was with Mark Cuban, who is a well-known like mogul on Shark Tank. The you know, investor, crazy guy. So um, yeah, it turns out he's making a positive spin on this, um, but he did lose his money after getting slammed with taxes. All right, so our next headline, guys, it's up to you. Is this headline fake or is it a fact? Fake or fact, Morgan? Bryce calls himself the most hated person on the internet. Ooh. Bryce recently went on Jeff Wittick's infamous barbershop interview show where he was introduced by Jeff as the new Jake Paul if Jake skipped through all the Disney Channel stuff and went straight to, well, you can probably guess how that sentence got finished. But I think a lot of people do think that he is now becoming or is the uh, most hated person on the internet and that's kind of like his brand. We talk about that all the time. Like that's what he represents. So, I mean, this is a tough one to answer for the fans out there. Who knows, did he really say this out loud? Did he say he is the most hated person on the internet? What do you think about his brand? I don't know, it's no news that our problematic king has been making headlines for the last few months and has become BFFs with the Los Angeles mayor after the Sway House got their power shut off after throwing some shindigs. I feel like he's constantly on TikTok room in the drama, you know. Because hated on the internet is a very tough word to say. That's all almost kind of canceled. That's like, I'm hated. Like people do not want to uh, hear me. People don't want to talk about me. People don't want to even know about me. Because if you say you hate somebody, that's like, that's intense. So yeah. Morgan, is this fake or fact? Is this headline or fake or fact news here? This headline is actually a fact. Bryce what? Hall added into his intro in the interview, you forgot I'm also the most hated person on the internet. Throughout the rest of the interview, they discussed his partying and the result of it when he woke up in his Hollywood mansion covered in sweat because he had gotten his power shut off due to his actions. But it does look like he's about to turn a new leaf with a podcast to teach financial responsibility to the youth of America and says he stopped the partying. Who knows? We'll see. Hopefully we don't see any more headlines about him in that sense anytime soon. I'm super jealous. You know what I mean? This isn't hate for me. This is jealousy. The guy's got super ripped abs. He's got chiseled pecs. And he's got pythons for arms, Morgan. Yeah. What do you think about those arms? Definitely, definitely a heartthrob. That's, you know, no, no doubt in my mind, but. Okay, what is the last headline here, guys? And tell me what it is. And is this headline, is it fake or is it a fact? Bryce ended Lana Rhodes' relationship. 
Speaking of problematic king, Bryce was the talk of the town last night when Lana Rose and her longtime boyfriend, Big Mike, apparently split. And who can you guess was right in the middle of it? Our very own Bryce Hall. There, if you watch the uh, some of the um, paparazzi videos, it's always fun to watch them and how close they get with each other. Like, there's like a thing where he's like, or a photo where he's like patting her on the head. Mm -hmm. So they're definitely uh, close, yeah. or are they just friends, or if, or what what is going on here? Definitely friends. So Bryce was quick to clear it up, saying that him and Mike and Lana are all just homies, and he never did anything. He wasn't involved. It was a crazy accusation. So I would assume that this is. Hold on, don't get, you're gonna give it to him? How long is it about to spill it right now? She's about to spill it. Let's, let's let him wait a little bit, little okay, bit longer okay, here. Okay. I feel like every time like somebody is right next to somebody in like a photo or a video, coming out of an Uber, coming out of a car, going into a restaurant together, the tweets in the, in the TikTok rooms uh, go off. Oh yeah. And they're I mean, all like, they're in a relationship, you know? Yeah, uh, Saddle, anything that goes down at Saddle Ranch is like gonna be seen by the public. I think that's been very, very established in the last few months and I'm pretty positive that's where this photo was taken. Okay, so Morgan, here we go. Is this fake or is this a fact? This is fake. Bryce Hall cleared up rumors that he had nothing to do with Lana and Mike Split and that the trio are just friends. Everyone needs to calm down on the rumors. He was like, I'm so tired of this stuff. Mike also took to Twitter to share a screenshot of text between him and Bryce where he said, generally I don't respond to this toxic garbage, but since it looks like it isn't going away, drunk Bryce was being drunk Bryce, him and I spoke and it's dead. And basically in the screenshot, it was like Mike saying to Bryce, yo, lay off my girl, had a picture of, you know, the Saddle Ranch, whatever was going on there. Um, and Bryce was like, no dude, I would never. This is definitely fake, definitely fake. Bryce definitely has been wrapped up in a lot of drama, you know, him and, him and Addison, and then him and Tessa, and then maybe him and Lana, but turns out that this has all been fake. I'm Morgan Riddle. I'm Tony Morris. And this is Faker Fact, only on Hollywire.